Alright, hi everyone, today I have an OU match for you, as you can see, and it is with this team that I've been using in the past few videos. Sorry that I have been using a lot of uh, OU and just the same stuff. It's basically because I'm literally making all these videos together, just so I can space them out over the week that I've been busy. So yeah, I'm actually making this on the 27th, whereas this is going to be uploaded, like, Monday. So yeah, this has been made, like, a few days in advance, like I said, um, to basically, like... Uh, be ahead of in the week where I'm like you know busy and stuff and next and I'm making like next Thursdays tomorrow as well so yeah I'm uh, I'm really I'm really making things really early so that's basically why all these matches are like exactly the same so I only have like limited stock so yeah anyway I'm just gonna get straight into the match he leads off with his cloister and I lead off with my Staraptor and I just decided I don't want this thing set up first time I'm just gonna go straight for the close combat try and do as much damage as I possibly can to this thing because I'm pretty sure if he only if he sets up he'll be at plus only plus one instead of plus two, so that means I'm pretty sure Ferrothorn could take any hit from that. So yeah, that's cool. But he goes straight for the ice shard, which is kind of interesting because um, he doesn't show life or anything. He actually shows leftovers in just a second, which is kind of interesting because you don't really see that very much with Cloister. And the fact that he lives the close combat suggests to me he may be more of a defensive variant. I'm not entirely sure, but he took that like better than I thought like a non-defensive one would. So yeah, but I'm not really sure because I don't really know like. Exact. I haven't actually done exact counts on it, so yeah. But um, he goes into his Polito, and this thing is physically defensive. And look how much it takes from that close combat. I told you before, Star Raptor is a monster when it's banned, and it's so unstoppable. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to switch out now because I don't want to take a skull. So I'm going to decide to go into my Ferrothorn because obviously Ferrothorn can more Politoids. And I can just start setting up some hazards on this thing because uh, that's basically what Ferrothorn does, be does best. Wall things, set up hazards, and all that good shit. So yeah, he goes and he switches out now uh, because he doesn't. I, I guess he can't talk to me until he goes into his Beer School. It's kind of interesting because Beer School really can't do anything to me either. Um, but I just go for the leech suit and his switch out just to get a little bit of HP back and like to start annoying things But obviously this isn't going to be really an issue for the Gliscor just because um, he <clears throat> Because uh, Poison Heal would actually be getting the exact same amount of health back that leech suit will be doing But on the plus side for me that means he won't actually be getting any recovery now because the fact that I um, Went to leech suit as he came in means he will not be able to recover all that back off so he's a like, not full HP. It's not exactly much, but, you know, it's a little bit of damage, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I do set up that one layer of spikes there, which is really nice, but you guys are just Toxic Rock, which is probably the biggest threat on his team, but I went out into this guy, uh, predicting, like, the Earthquake or something, because I can take that and then just retaliate back with the Shadow Ball, because I am a, um, Life Orb Gengar in this, uh, map, so, yeah, that's cool. But, um, he, like I said, he goes into his Toxic Rock, I went to the Destiny Bomb, thinking he'd want to, um, like, go for the Sucker Punch or whatever, just so, um, he might be pressured to switch out, but he sets up a sub, which is kind of scary, so I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball, as he goes for the bulk up behind this sub, um, this is, like, terrifying, because, yeah, but I thought he might want to over-predict, because I thought the Destiny Bond right here was way too obvious, so I just decided to go for another Shadow Ball, thinking he might want to try and set up another sub, but that is actually not going to happen, he's just going to go straight for the Sucker Punch, and he's going to be able to kill off my Gengar right there and then, so that kind of sucks, because my Spin Blocker is now gone, and his Cloister could be a spinner, so I need to be wary of that, but apart from that, yeah. But I decided to go on my Latias, because I'm pretty sure Latias can take a plus one, um, a plus one Sucker Punch from a Bulk Up Troxycrox, because a uh, Bulk Up Troxycrox usually don't carry much attack investment, they usually carry like max HP, max speed, um, and like, yeah, so, and not much, and only in that, an adamant nature, so I thought I'd be able to take a Sucker Punch. Turns out he didn't go for a Sucker Punch, maybe he over predicted and like thought I would like, he went for the sub thinking I want to do something else, but then I just managed to kill him off with a side shot. But he brings in his Jirachi, I thought this thing would be defensive, so I brought in my Heatran because Heatran like cannot be touched by Jirachis, like defensive Jirachis, but he turns out to be a sub car mine one, and this thing is also a massive threat, so I'm just going to go for strength for the raw rather than trying to set up rocks, because that's originally what I brought him for, to set up rocks. But, um, as it turned out, he was a different variant, so yeah, I basically have to wall that thing straight away. I have to just fucking wall it, uh, war him out into this Gliscor, which is like the biggest threat to my Heatran, because obviously he does have a stab Earthquake, but I know because he's gonna want to go for the Earthquake, it's safe to go into my Star Raptor, because obviously he's not gonna want to, um, he's not gonna want to... Uh, over predict and just go for the Ice Fang because that would be disastrous for him, but he goes for Protect and uh, seeing that I've gone for the Brave Bird, like he probably presumes I'm locked in by this point, um, I do decide to go into my Latias because I knew he like he probably didn't have anything to hit me with, even if he did have Ice Fang, I knew it wouldn't do that much. And now I go for the Draco Modius, he goes for Protect, and now I know he's not going to want to stay in for a Draco, I know he's going to want to go into his Jirachi because um, he will be able to take a 
Draco Meteor quite easily, I only decided to go for the Thunderbolt, and that works out for me because that uh, Thunderbolt does a lot of damage to that Jirachi and it's an easy to hit KO. And now I decided to go for the Draco Meteor on the off chance that he wanted to switch out back into Gliscor to try and uh, like be immune to Thunderbolt or whatever. But that does not happen because uh, yeah, he just lets his Jirachi die. So yeah, that's fine for me because Jirachi is now dead because that thing was kind of a threat. And that's pretty. I've pretty much taken down the two biggest threats in his team, which were his um, thingy and his thingy, his Toxic Croak and that Jirachi. So yeah, he brings in his Cloyster. I was confident I could live an Ice Shard just looking at how much, how little the uh, one earlier did to my Star Raptor. So I decided to just stay in, go for a cover. That works out perfectly because now I can get loads of HP back. And now he can't kill me with an Ice Shard, so he's um, basically just going to uh, be screwed. So I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. He doesn't go for Ice Shard again, I guess, wanting to go for a Rapid Spin or something. But that doesn't work out for him because I'm able to go for the Thunderbolt. Easily kill that Cloyster because Cloyster does not very high um, special defense at all. And even though I'm at minus two, that is super effective and life orb. Um, and yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, he brings in this uh, Blissey, which is kind of an annoying thing. And I knew he'd probably want to go for Thunder Wave just by the way he brought it in. So I decided to go into my Tentacruel because. Um, paralysis really doesn't hinder my tentacles that much. Well, I say that now, but you'll see later it does kind of screw me over, but I decide perfect opportunity to sell my Toxic Spikes because this thing can't do shit to me. So yeah, perfect opportunity to sell my Toxic Spikes. I knew he'd want to switch here. I thought he might want to go into Gliscor, so I went for the Scald. Um, I don't know why I thought that would happen because that's kind of a stupid thing, but I just went for the Skull just to see how much it would do, and it doesn't do very much to that Politoed, and he gets that wish back, so that's kind of annoying. But I know this Politoed won't be able to touch me, so I believe I go for another layer of. T no, I think I go. Yeah, I go into my Ferrothorn right here, so he goes for the Perish Song, uh, because once again I can wall this Politoed and set up my remaining two layers of spikes, because then um, nothing will enjoy switching, especially that Blissey, because that Blissey is really being a problem just because it's going to be switching in and out getting those wishes off and if I can't let it switch in and out for free like this so basically I'm just going to want to set up my laser spikes which is what I'm going to do here he does switch out into his bliss core to try and wall me I suppose but I don't really care because I'm Paris Song I knew I know I don't have that much time left to stay on the field so it's best to just go for spikes um, as he goes for the ice, ice fang now I do manage to get my uh, third layer of spikes up, so that's perfect because now my Ferrothorn has got all its hazards up, it's done its job, but I do not want to lose it just yet because I know this thing will be important in um, in pretty much just walling his Gliscor and his Politoed, so I don't want to let this thing die, so I decided to go to my Latias because I knew uh, I could take an Ice Fang because ice, uh, it didn't do that much earlier, but he's gonna freeze me, I mean what the hell, seriously? Seriously? Seriously, this this thing was like the main thing I had for this, and he frees it. Oh my god! Seriously, that that just made the match yeah, much longer because now I have to go into my tentacle who um, can set up and I believe goes to the skulls here actually. I can't remember. No, I well I, I don't remember because I get paralyzed. But now I decide to set up another uh, toxic spikes. So if this thing wants to come in and he wants to go hill bell whatever, I can actually toxic stall it out because the. Um, Toxic will be doing more and more each turn, so that's cool. But I decided to go into my Staraptor as he goes to the Heal Bell, which is perfect because obviously now he will um, be. It actually helps me more than it hurts him because. Yeah, because uh, if he brings in this Politoed, that will be uh, hurt by the Toxic like racking up more and more, just like Blissey will. Obviously, this. Uh, this Gliscor won't, but that's another story, so I go into Tentacle, trying to go for the Scald once again, but that doesn't happen, and yeah, this thing is basically the end of the piece of shit, because my Latias died, and if my Latias hadn't died, that wouldn't have happened, but yeah, but I go into my Heatran now, because I know Heatran, well, I know Blissey can't do shit to Heatran, so it's the best opportunity I have to go for my Rocks, because then I'll have every entry hazard on the field, and now nothing will enjoy switching, even the Gliscor will be taking a little bit of damage every now and then. And uh, yeah, everything will be taking a shitload of damage. And I knew I just could roll and shuffle things around, but obviously he crits me with the surf, so that just makes things a little bit harder for me. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. So I decided to go into my Staraptor now and just go straight for the Brave Bird because I'm done with fucking around. I'm just going to destroy this Politoed. And that is easily going to kill that thing, so yeah. But he goes into his uh, Gliscor now, and I don't want to take a ice, a ice Fang to the face, so I decided to go into um, my Tentacruel, easily take that, like does like 20 damage. So that's really cool, because now I can just try to scold this thing, do as much damage as I possibly can, because it, um, a bit later we'll see it does do a lot of damage. Um, but, I don't know, yeah, I, I knew we'd go for the Earthquake, and I don't know why I went to Star Raptor, though, because Star Raptor can't really do shit. I think I went to try and get the Intimidate, just so I could, just so his Earthquakes could be doing less to my Tentacle, yeah, I think that was my method of behind my madness there, so yeah. 
Um, and I'm just trying to go for skulls on this thing to just try and do as much damage as possible to it. But he's going to send this Blissey here, and it's going to take so much damage for all these entry hazards, it is actually going to die to a Scald right here, because it is rain boosted and such, so even a Blissey cannot live that. So that's really cool, because now he only has his Gliscor left, and I can just go for Scald on it. As we'll see in a second, this Skull does so much damage after this Earthquake, does so much damage, look at look at this damage, does like 90, 95%, so that's really cool, because now he is uh, really threatened by that, so I decided to go for the Protect, get a little bit of HP back, because um, I didn't want to die to another Earthquake, um, but he goes for the Roost, it doesn't really matter, because, um, well I get paralysed here, it doesn't matter because he went for the Roost, if he'd gone for Earthquake it would have mattered, but it didn't, so yeah, and now I go for another Skull, uh, well I, I could go for another Skull, do a lot of damage, but he crits me, I mean, what the hell, this, this game, wanted to set me up for failing against this Gliscor. I didn't, I actually didn't understand like what was going on with this Gliscor. It was just screwing me over every single turn. So now my only hope is to go into Staraptor to intimidate it, go back into Ferrothorn to take an Ice Fang, go back into Staraptor to intimidate it again, basically get as many attack drops as I possibly could, set up a Leech Seed with Ferrothorn so um, my Staraptor would be getting health, more health back than the Ice Fang would do. Yeah, you guys basically see where I'm going with this. Basically just get Gliscor to like minus 6 in attack and then get the Leech Seed up, which I've just got now, so that means I will be able to um, get a lot of health back with Staraptor, and as we'll see, that, that is basically what I'm going to have to do to win this, because, like I said, he's pretty much killed all the checks I have for this uh, Gliscor already, so yeah. Um, I do split this part up because it's a little bit stally, because I'm going into my Staraptor and back into my Ferrothorn again. As you can see, this, um, this Leech Seed actually does, gets back quite a decent amount of health, so that's really nice, but I know he's going to go... He, no, he goes for Protect, keep him on Protect, I really don't know why, because yeah. But now I believe I go into, into my Star for the last time, and now I believe his Gliscor is at minus 3. And I see how little Ice Fang does, it does like 50 damage, and after Leech Seed it does... Let's have a look. It does like... It does like 4 damage after Leech Seed, so I'm confident I can just go for the Brave Bird now. Hopefully to be a 2-hit KO, and it is a 2-hit KO, because Star Raptor is just a monster and um, I'm going to be able to live that quite easily, and luckily he doesn't throw, if he throws me, oh my god, I would have thrown my DS out the window, I'm not even kidding, my DS would be in bits right now, so yeah, but that's, I don't know why he wants to protect, because Leech Seed is doing as much to him as Poison Hill is recovering, so literally he's just making the battle one turn longer, so yeah, that's annoying, but it doesn't matter, because I can just go for Brave Bird here, Finally finish off this Gliscor, which has been like screwing over my whole team with annoying stuff. And that is going to be the end of the game. A 2-0 in my favour. It should have been a little bit more, admittedly, but yeah, that happened. But it's it was still a fun match and everything because it was cool and yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time.